My name is Stephen Sebastian. I was born in Framingham, Massachusetts. I'm the second oldest of five children, and uh, I, I work for uh, Northrop Grumman manufacturing satellites. For fun, I like to ride motorcycles and I like to fix things. About 20 years ago, um, my life was uh, it was very different than it is today, and I would say kind of spiraling a little bit out of control. And uh, I I felt that I could feel that something was missing, and that uh, a, a, something was going to happen. Yeah, and sure enough, it did. <laughs> Ten years ago, your life changed. What happened? Yes. Ten years ago, I was got in a situation, and where the that was the end of that road, uh, of the way I was living my life, and uh, and I was forced to make a change. But the change came very easily because it, it was being saved by by Jesus. So that's that's how it changed. What's your life like now? Well, it's pretty amazing uh, when you accept uh, Jesus in your life. Everything changes uh, because I'm I'm no longer absent from family functions, which I which I was, and, uh, and and I'm able to help other people as well as help get help for myself. Uh, I'd say that's it's turned out so that every morning you wake up with gratitude for what the Lord has provided me and to you know that thankfulness like gratitude uh, just carries you through the whole day and uh, actually I started dedicating Sundays to go visit and uh, and have, share a meal together uh, and it, it, uh, we do different things uh, camping but getting to making the commitment to get together every weekend uh, has made a difference like I say I wasn't really present before sometimes I would actually be there but still not really present and now you get to know your kids and grandkids in a different light and that's that's really a fantastic thing Wow let's see 20 year old self tell him to get his act together <laughs> That's when things uh, were out of control. So uh, I had everything at my disposal. I just didn't, what I didn't know is that uh, God would accept me just the way that I was. And, um, and all you have to do is say yes, accept the gift that you're given. And I have found since that, since I've met God, that there's a lot of people like me out there that think they're not good enough, they're not deserving. I tend to put aside the bad things in life. I'm divorced, so I had a marriage uh, that didn't work out. Um, I attribute that to me and my behavior. Um, although we're still in communication, still love each other, um, we, we have you know, children and grandchildren in common, and that's forever. So when you, when you have a relationship like that, it has to continue. There were some very rough times, and, uh, and we both have found a way to, to uh, be accepting of each other. And, um, and, and I find that's kind of unusual, too. So, so I, I give God the credit and glory for that, too. Yeah.